Like so many professions that aren't in the spotlight, TV extras usually don't get a lot of credit, despite playing an important role in the functioning of their industry. However, there are some extras that do things that do make them stand out from the rest. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are the 10 greatest TV extra performances ever. Number 10, Stick Boy Highlander. Based on the 1986 film of the same name, the oft-forgotten Highlander TV series isn't exactly the stuff of small screen legend, which explains why a random moment like this has gone down as one of the show's most memorable scenes. See, in the season 5 episode Comes a Horseman, there's a flashback scene in which the four horsemen raid a Bronze Age settlement, killing several civilians and generally just causing a right old mess. One of their first victims is an unnamed extra who runs towards the camera while carrying a massive pile of sticks. In a moment of panic, he throws his sticks to the ground in an effort to lighten the load, but this ultimately proves fruitless, and the horsemen chop him down before he can escape. After the episode aired, this random character was affectionately dubbed Stick Boy by fans of the show, and he was praised for absolutely legging it across that uneven terrain, holding onto his precious sticks until the last possible moment. So yeah, God bless you Stick Boy, your perseverance is an inspiration to us all. Number 9, The Middleton Doppelganger, The Crown. The Crown is one of those shows that can dominate the online conversation, and that's exactly what happened when its fourth season hit Netflix in late 2020. Around this time, fans grew attached to one particular extra scene in the sixth episode, who acted the hell out of her brief moment on camera. Responding to Princess Diana with the exact same energy as a dog reuniting with its owner after a long time apart, she looked like she was going to burst with happiness. But her incredibly sweet, convincing performance wasn't the only reason the internet took a shine to her. See, instead, and I can't believe that I'm saying this out loud, but it's true, some fans believed that this extra was none other than Kate Middleton, you know, the Duchess of Cambridge enjoying a royal cameo. Admittedly, you can sort of see the resemblance in some stills, but other angles make it clear that this woman in fact isn't actually Kate Middleton, duh. Number 8, Hand Crank Guy, Star Trek. The Enterprise is a very busy place, and each member of the crew has an important role to play in keeping the ship running smoothly. But wait a second, what on earth is this guy doing? In Star Trek Season 3 episode, The Lights of Zatar, there's a quick shot at the 37 minute mark where William Shatner walks past an extra who appears to be cranking an invisible wheel against the wall. At least, that's what it looks like in the low resolution GIFs and images of this moment that are scattered across the web. If we do some cranking of our own though and boost the quality to HD, we can see that this chap actually is turning something, it's just that the material is quite hard to see. Either way though, this extra caught people's attention due to the incredible amount of effort he poured into his cranking task. Take one look at this guy, he definitely had his Weetabix in the morning. Number 7, The Shocked Students, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Sometimes a blink and you'll miss it moment can add that little bit of texture to a scene, really bringing the whole thing to life. And that's precisely the case with this pair of extras who got roughly 5 seconds of screen time at the end of Earshot, an episode in Buffy the Vampire Slayer's third season. As Buffy and Giles discuss the events of the episode while walking through the school grounds, Buffy ends their conversation by calling Giles out on sleeping with her mother. In the foreground, Giles loses his concentration and thumps into a tree, but in the background, two student extras turn towards the camera with a perfectly timed WTF expression in response to Buffy's scathing remark. It's unclear whether they were told to do this or whether they just thought it seemed natural, but whatever the case, these lads made the absolute most of their teeny tiny roles in the land of Buffy. Number 6, Mobility Scooter Lady, Doctor Who. There are so many crazy goings on in every single episode of Doctor Who that it's difficult for a background actor to leave a lasting impression. That said, an unassuming lady riding a mobility scooter in Series 5's The Eleventh Hour managed to do just that. During the scene where Matt Smith's Eleventh Doctor faces off against Prisoner Zero in Ledworth's Town Square, he raises his sonic screwdriver into the air and lets off a signal that blows out street lamps, sets off car alarms, and sends a nearby fire engine speeding down the street. Naturally, this chaos causes the locals to panic, but none of them panic quite as much as Mobility Scooter Lady, who, in a quick two second shot, lets out a hilarious scream of terror as the Sonic's energy causes her vehicle to speed out of frame. Now, did her scooter stop safely or did she crash to a halt? We just don't know, but for the brief moment she was on screen, Mobility Scooter Lady gave Doctor Who fans an unexpectedly hearty chuckle. 
Number 5. The Woman Chewing Coffee Friends Due to its insane rewatchability factor, Friends is one of those shows that's consistently near the top of the streaming charts. This results in fans regularly finding new and interesting details hidden in classic episodes, like this highly unusual sight in the background of Season 6's The One Where Paul's the Man. This episode is fondly remembered for the lolworthy final confrontation between Ross and Paul, played by a note-perfect Bruce Willis, the disapproving father of his girlfriend Elizabeth. But a much less obvious funny moment occurs right at the very start, when the main gang is hanging out in, where else, Central Perk. If you look behind Ross when he says the line, looks like I'm not the only one interested in fossils, there's a blonde extra who takes a swig of coffee from her mug and then starts to chew it. This woman immediately became a viral sensation with fans debating the purpose of her seemingly unnecessary chewing motion. Whatever the case, stealing a scene away from the main Friends cast is no easy feat, but with her strange yet committed performance, this lady managed to do it. Number 4. See-Through Shirt Guy – Sex and the Sea Sex and the City's iconic opening titles are all about Sarah Jessica Parker's Carrie Bradshaw, but in certain fan circles, it was actually a random background extra who caused the biggest stir. Right at the end of this sequence, there's an extra stood behind Carrie who absolutely owns the entire shot with his confident strut, ripped physique, bizarre see-through top, and pants that are brighter than the sun. Though he was only on screen for a few seconds, this good-looking chap developed quite a fan following following for obvious reasons. I mean, just look at the top comments on any popular YouTube upload of this scene, and you're bound to find people commenting on this eye-catching look, while also lamenting the fact that we'll never ever know who he is. Whether he chose his own costume or whether it was given to him on the day, see-through t-shirt guy managed to pull focus away from one of the biggest TV stars in the industry. Number 3. Vince Kwan, Stargate Universe Another random extra who fans are latched onto in a big way, Vince Kwan, as he was eventually known, appeared in just a handful of Stargate Universe episodes as an ordinary bystander. Initially popping up in the show's first season, the character, known then by the community simply as the balding Asian guy, can be seen in the episode Faith, clutching his briefcase like his life depended on it. Even when surrounded by a crowd of people, he immediately stood out to fans of the show, so much so that an enormous one 182 page thread was created in his honour on the Gate World forums. Bill Butt, the extra who played him, even started commenting on the thread once it gained traction. Vince's much anticipated return was in the season 2 episode Visitation, while fans have spotted him uncredited in other Stargate shows. Number 2. The Shifty Couple Community as you'd expect from a whip-smart showrunner like Dan Harmon, Community is chock full of clever gags that you might not catch on your first viewing, like this shifty pair of extras seen in the background of Season 3's basic lupine urology. During the episode, our group of main characters walk across a street that's bustling with people. However, here, focus your eyes on the top right corner of the shot to see a man and woman exiting a building behaving in a rather odd manner. See, the man is zipping up his fly while the woman is wiping down her lips. And yeah, we probably don't need to tell you what the implication is here, and upon spotting this extremely subtle sight gag, community fans naturally assumed that Harmon and his writers were responsible for the idea. Apparently though, these extras were just acting of their own volition, and the showrunners had no clue about it. Most extras will just keep their heads down and do as instructed, which makes it really special when they do decide to do something fun with the few fleeting frames that they appear in. Number 1. Alexandria Resident Number 9 – The Walking Dead One thing that separates movie and TV extras is that TV extras have a chance to appear on the same show for years at a time. This is exactly the case with a Walking Dead extra called Alexandria Resident Number 9, who currently holds the record for the most appearances by an unnamed character. First appearing in the Season 5 episode Forget, where in the opening two minutes she opens the Alexandria Gate for Sasha, she's managed to survive all the way through to the show's current final season, fighting off zombies, dealing with human drama, and performing guard duty, all the while without uttering a single line of dialogue. Like the other recurring extras on this list, Alexandria Resident Number 9 has developed quite the fan following, with some viewers praising her specific acting performances, like when she absolutely books it down the street in another Season 5 episode try, and others simply amazed that she's lasted this long when so many main characters have died. And hey, who knows, maybe she will die in an upcoming episode, but even if she does, she'll undoubtedly be remembered as the MVP of Walking Dead Extras. So that's our list. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think about these extras, and are there any better ones I missed off here? While you're down there as well, could you please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't know, I've been Josh. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.